Good morning again, you guys. We are out on another adventure. Uh, we're going to be on a long flight today. We're going to burn the last hours off. We're hitting our first 100-hour inspection here on Gouette, the orange helicopter. Um, so we're just burning off the last 2.8 right now. And let's just descend down a little bit there, just at the base of the clouds right now. Um, so yeah, we're uh, we're going to be out trying to find some good weather right now. As you can see, it's pretty garbage, uh, but the further we get out towards Hope, which is the direction we're going right now, the more the visibility is going to start increasing. We're starting to see a couple little patches of sun just poking through over there, so it's definitely reasonable. Um, we've, been, we've been battling a lot of bad weather, haven't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but we, uh, we seem to always find, even through the bad weather, even uh, seem to find a gem here and there uh, to get us you know, up a little bit higher in altitude. Um, find something pretty cool. So we're uh, we're hoping today. Um, it's also pretty windy. I don't know if uh, you had a look at windy this morning. Um, yeah, but I had. out towards the east, there's um, I saw upwards of 35. In some places right even 40 now, knots. It's not so bad, but yeah, out here is good. It'll probably start increasing the further we get out, yeah. so we have to be careful with that. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Oh man, I think in French they call that God's fingers. The really? the sun rays like that. Okay. Yeah, really cool. We're finding some beautiful stuff out here. Lots of patchy clouds around, but pretty it's awesome. Fine. It's not raining. No, exactly. <laughs> that's right. There's a nice logging patch or logging road on the left side here. Should we take a look? Yeah, why don't we go and try and see right at the bend in that road if it opens up enough for us to land on. Let's go back. What are your thoughts there? Well, actually, we have base enough. Yeah. The approach path would be fine. Okay. At the departure path would also be fine, probably. Okay, we've got to see if we have enough power here. Why don't we try and pull into an outer ground effect hover? There's also another spot back in there that we could try as well if we needed to. Actually, we are climbing. Okay. With 82% of power. Okay, good. Let's That's go ahead good. and fly away. We'll come back around at it. Sounds pretty good to me. Perfect. This is looking good. And then what we want to do is just keep slowing down now. Because we have a nice out on the right, we want to just confirm again that we've got the power here. So go ahead and start pulling power, pulling power, and level off that descent. Yeah, it's still looking good. Yeah. Because it's not huge in there, we might need a, an extra minute to just sort of But now it was around. already a little bit late to make the power check, right? Because the out was Yeah, going we still had a, enough room there, yeah. I think we're going to be great here, yeah, right onto the road in the middle, don't get committed too far. If you go too far, you're going to kind of wedge yourself in the corner there. That's looking nice. I like that. Good enough room to those trees there. It's a snug spot, but it's definitely uh, definitely going to work for us. Yeah. That's very nice. That's great. Yeah, good work. Thanks. Okay, let's go ahead and lift off. Nice, just at 100% there, climbing out of there. That was nice. Let's come around the corner here. We'll keep it fairly slow. We're going to come around these trees. We can level off okay. and see if this other spot is doable as well. Because that's a, a cool spot over here. Might be too many uh, fire pits and that sort of thing. What does it look like to you? On the edge, on the right side. Yeah, except that you see the wind. The wind's all pushing this way. Let's go ahead and bail away. Yeah. You can already hear it. You're yeah. hitting 100%. There you go. The moment we turned downwind, I think we would have lost our power. We wouldn't have made it. We would have just sank right in there. So those are good warning signs to listen for that wind. We can continue back up that way. Um, okay. Listen for that um, that RPM, right? Uh, you can hear the engine climbing, so the power is going up, up, up. And then you can hear that RPM starting to droop. So as you feel that, you're, you're looking in, seeing your power climbing. And then also knowing that wind is really important because if we're into wind, and we already know we're on our limit. If we're going to turn downwind, which there's probably a good 10 knots in there, um, turn downwind, you're going to lose that that power. So, okay, very nice. All right, let's keep looking around for some more logging roads. But, um, so you would only do this with probably two, three thousand hours. Very, very tricky. So just to explain to everybody what happened here, we're in this cirque now in this bowl, and we're right on our power limit, kind of right up at the ridge line. Um, we have wind from behind us coming over the, the cirque, and so what we're doing over the, the lip there, what we actually did is we came in and we looped it around, we dropped down below the uh, the wind level, we looped it around, we actually flew around this entire bowl here, and uh, that allowed us to get out of that wind, 
and then we were able to come around the lake and then shoot our approach right into this spot into an in-ground effect hover. So uh, let's go ahead and pick it up now in the hover. And this will be fun. So we should have plenty of power. Well, I say plenty. We should have power um, to get up in the hover here. We're up at uh, 4,700 feet, so we're up fairly high and still 86 liters of fuel. But we're doing good. There's 94%. So as we talked about, um, tail's pretty decently clear on my side. Probably want to go up a little bit. Yeah. You can back up a little bit, go, go to the right a little bit. Oh, there's some good animal tracks right there. I don't know if that's bear or what that is. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to go to the right. And then we're going to use this bowl to get back out of here. So, got lots of room there. Nice and gentle. You're at 100%, so be cautious with that. That you don't droop now. And then, yeah, just keep slowly accelerating. We've got translational lift there. And then just keep uh, going around. And as you can, we're going to try and slowly gain speed and altitude. And we're going to... Uh, circle this bowl as many times as we have to until we have enough comfort to get up and over that tree line. So we'll go a bit further back the bowl here. Okay. This is nice. This is actually a good time to grab a little bit of speed and then you can convert that speed into altitude because that wind should start flowing up this hillside. We're actually going to use that to our advantage. That's good. Make that turn. Keep the speed up. Don't lose your speed now. That's great. Have a look out your right window. Always have a game plan of where you're going. Okay, here's where we can really hunt for that speed, and then we'll Should convert be. that speed into altitude. Okay. So there's uh, 50 knots. Start converting that to altitude now. Boom, up and over. We're going to get hit by that upflow wind over the edge, and away we go. Uh, that was cool, man. That's cool, yeah. Nice work. Great. That's an advanced, advanced landing. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, let's head over towards the sunshine over there. Okay, so finally we did it. We did it, yeah. We tried that uh, two days ago, and we were able to make it today, so that's nice. Okay, so there's a fairly windy hillside here. Let's slow down a little bit more. Got about 25 knots on the nose, and we want to see back here. Let's go ahead and slowly start pulling it into a hover. Let's see back here if we have enough lift. Let's stay down low. Don't let it climb on you. It's nice that, to know that we are climbing, but we don't want to end up high because then we got a steep approach to do, right? So let's just keep it here. We're only using 84%. That's good. Let's go ahead and start descending. I think we're going to be great in there. We've uh, we've already done one pass to this spot, so we know that the spot is safe. Let's start dropping down now. Want to make sure that we have a little bit of a, a horizontal view. We don't want to come vertical onto the spot. Okay, stop the forward movement. Stop, stop, stop. Keep coming straight down for now. Because we want to be able to see out the front window where we're landing, right? Because you can see there's a few spots that are a little uneven. Okay, where are we going to touch it down? What we about the front of us there? Here, yeah. or maybe even a little bit further up there. Yeah. Um, this one, I don't like that stick that's sticking up. So okay. why don't we go up a little bit farther? Uh, we'll have to twist it a little bit, nose to the right, tail out over here. But let's do that once we get over the spot, just in case we start drooping on the power. That's looking good. Right here, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, twist the nose a bit to the right because you got the tail over those bushes right now. There you go. And then move it forward. Yeah, try that. All right. Then we're going to need a good seating check because we're on the snow. Yep. Kind of patting it down, patting it down. Yeah, it feels good. That feels very good. Nice spot. The tail's wide open and clear there. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. So we got What a spot. <laughs> right on, man. Yeah, and the power seemed reasonable that whole time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did. Definitely. That was good. Okay, let's go ahead and lift off again. Nice. Same spot we landed on a few days ago. It was 100% now. Just make sure we go straight into ground effect. And we got our first frozen lake. That's looking beautiful. Okay, come uh, a little Pretty more fine. my way if you want. Okay. Yeah, that's good right there. I think that's going to feel like a fairly level landing. And then keep go ahead and seat her down. Uh, nice, I wish I had my skates. Oh. <laughs> Man, it's deep. It's, it's, it's Look at that, eh? to land in the snow. Yeah, we're sinking oh. a good foot in there right now. It's quite a bit. 
probably the fuselage is touching the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, not quite. No. Close no, though. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Nice work. Okay, so are we departing uh, this way? Yeah, I would say so. We got a bit of a healthy reserve there. Let's go ahead and do a, a bit of a vertical. Just okay. so that we know that we're going to comfortably clear all these stumps and everything. We got lift. And then just uh, go ahead and slowly start building that forward speed. That's awesome. We've got lots of wind in here. We want to be cautious that we're not going to get tossed down at all. And the climb rate that you have going right now is just exactly what we want. Beauty. Okay. That was nice. Like that. That's very win windy. It is very windy, yeah. Let's see if we can pick another beach, like one of those ones over there. Oh, we can kind of loop down yeah. the lake a little bit and then come around and then land, kind of facing back into the wind again. Beauty. Man, those clouds are coming in fast, eh? That's wild. Okay, let's do a left-hand turn here. Should we uh, fly back home as we came in? Yeah, we got to have to try anyways. Let's uh, start climbing up. We have to find a ridge line that we can actually make it over. Um, we don't know if anything's closed in up there. So um, hug the hillside. We're going to use the wind to our advantage here. Okay. And we're just going to see how quickly we can make this climb up the hillside. We got this incredible updraft right now, climbing at about 2,000 feet a minute. That's crazy. It's really good. Wow. Yeah. And that looks like it's possibly closing off on us. That one might still be open. Should we try this one? Yeah, let's um yeah, let's start heading over to the right right now. That one definitely looks like it's closing in. Might just be the perception that we have, the angle that we're looking at it from. But that one looks definitely more open still at this point. Yeah. So Dun dun dun. Are we gonna make it home or are we gonna get stuck in the beautiful <laughs> valley? <laughs> yeah, perception is everything. Yeah, exactly. So. It's crazy, right? Guys, we're getting extremely low on fuel. There's severe winds out here. I think we're going to be stuck. We might have to spend the night. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm making it a little too much dramatic there. <laughs> that would be kind of fun. I mean, it's a pretty cool place to stay. We could uh, pull out our survival gear and exactly. go for a little bit of camping. <laughs> we would have every, every, everything, everything we so. need. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. Pull it on those controls in case it tosses us around again. Yeah. So guys, we made it through. I was on the controls there for a little bit. <laughs> um, we had some, some good little bumps. <laughs> that was probably uh, the best wind you've ever had, eh? <laughs> Definitely. We, uh, we got tossed pretty good right there. Uh, we knew we would be because it's right on the back side of the hill. There's a pretty strong wind coming up this side of the hill right now. Uh, so that was fun. Um, good experience for you. Yeah. Just hang on to those controls. Don't over control it. Just ride right through it. That's quite um, difficult to stick out there. It is. Yeah. And you just have to just tell yourself like, don't don't do anything. Um, just fly through it basically. And the helicopter can handle it. That's why we're happy to be in a three-bladed helicopter, right? Um, because you get tossed up and down really hard, and you don't worry about those low G's and stuff. So um, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was a really cool one. Um, we're gonna talk down the next one. We've got lots of more, lots more fun adventures coming. See you guys.